I'm Lady Katie, and today we are going to start a new series called The Crooked Man. It seems so awesome. I hope you've heard of it. I've heard a tiny bit of it, but I think it's going to be awesome to play this with you guys. Stay tuned. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Paul. Okay, so I think we're Paul. Hugh, finally things look tidy in here. That should be th that should be that. Is there anything else we can help you with, David? No, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. <coughs> Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Okay. So we're Paul. Paul. What's this? Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Okay, let's run after him. I'm just gonna remove that mouse. <laughs> huh? You hear someone? What's with that place? Seriously? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. <coughs> the talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. No, fine. Hello? Hello? Who is this? I, I have not called a booty call. Surely. I guess Shirley doesn't want to speak to us. I'll just call it a day. I shouldn't take it easy for my first day in the new place. Man, I'm tired. Oh, really? Is that someone crying? I can't sleep through this. Ugh. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. <sighs> neighbors. Okay, let's see. Looks to be empty. Looks to be empty. Looks to be empty. 201. Woman's voice. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just, I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something, huh? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. S -s Sorry for waking you. Bye now. Hmm. She's right, the rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever, I better go back to sleep. Okay. Oh, what the hell. Yikes, the water is the faucet busted. Hmm? Under the bed. Dun dun dun. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Okay. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm, I found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweater pillow and riffing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. 
I'll get to bed. That sound still, where's it coming from? Give me a break, I need to sleep. We're popular. Hello? Oh, Belle, how's it going? Yeah, thanks for all the... Um... No, 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 I didn't mean just I'm busy with work so you know, I can't have that booty call. Yeah, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Kapow! Mm. Oh, is that, who's that again, David? Uh, Paul, what is it? Yeah, um, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write something on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? S sorry I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. So we're going to the hospital, okay. Okay, let's see. No need to go in that. No need to go in that. No need to go in that. And we have... Okay, I think this... Who's this? Oh, Mom. Mom, it's been a while. How are you doing? Oh, my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. It's not Timmy, it's David. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's now your favorite cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom? Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who, who are you? Say something, will you? Get out! I'll have you thrown out. Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now! Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for the day. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M mom Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but, she said my... I said leave. <laughs> Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives! Poor David. This is mom. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better so you can live with her again. Aww. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Okay, so we're back in our room. Okay. I should apologize later. Okay. Let's go back. What was that? So many, not many clothes inside. An old computer. 
Did I move that chair? Huh. There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. You sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Yeah, okay. Let's go. Again with the phone calls. I mean... Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? You saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shell yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Oh, sorry. I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need to worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see ya. But... <sighs> I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Okay. Ah, please don't jump scare me. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Oh my god. Oh! Gah! Whoa, what? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Let's check out the sink. Hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. Nice. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked... Oh yeah. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this Mother Goose rhyme? Why is this and here on the zinc? I guess the previous tenants. Yeah. I don't know. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marin's help, but. <sighs> so tired. So tired. Have to sleep. Is that a kid I hear? What kid will live in these speed up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. You should go and check everything now, shouldn't you? Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Oh my god! Stop scaring me. Okay, what well broke? Is that the mirror? No. Okay. Nothing here. Ah, the mug. Just a broken cap. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me! The coffee says, y you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? I guess we'll find out. Oh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was up all night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like she, he forgot a lot of stuff, but I lost the landlady. Show sure. later. Okay, the landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Okay. Wee! Wee! Okay, the far end. This is very old, this house. Okay, follow like this one. Hello? Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. 
About the room, I mean. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have new people coming and going. Now, that what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. He said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, uh, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. Oh, no, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. All right, sorry, I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh, well, I'll get back to my room. Whee! What the fuck is this? Someone's on there. Period! Okay. That leads to the crack. W why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was that? What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Okay, let's go to bed. Oh my God. TV again. Where is that coming from? Is it? from inside the house. What the hell? Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. It came from in here. Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. What's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Nice. Okay, let's go. Oh my god! Oh, ah. oh I got used by some. I'm waiting for you. What? Why did? How and when? When did it? What? Ah! Oh my god, that scared me. That was not good. Not good. So you sleep well last night? Sorry, I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha! <laughs> Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I like felt intruding into the newlyweds love nest. Hey, why you? <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you're making fun of me. Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just so cloaked with the mom in the hospital and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy! You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Huh, <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. 
Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. Uh, back in the apartment. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go there? Here. I just want to ask him about his room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Let's go to the mountains. So I'm gonna end this episode there. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to leave a like or a comment. And yes, <laughs> I really hope you have a good day and stay witty.